dance music is just much more exciting over here. The thing about American music is that uh, European bands always say that they somewhat get inspired by uh, yeah, American music. But mm -hmm. for you, in what way do you get inspired by European music? Uh, well, I mean, uh, I mean, dance music is just much more exciting over here, um, and uh, even the the good techno and stuff that comes from America, I feel like there's a little more uh, depth of sound over here. It's, it's more focus on it, and, and it's just uh, you know I don't think Americans even under full, even like fully understand like clubbing all night or something like that. You know, and even coming from New York. Where we pr probably club harder than the rest of America, it's it's it still shuts down a bit, you know, at, at night, and so um, uh, you know, you know, so we've been inspired by that. Um, I mean, I, I definitely started learning a lot more about it just from touring over here and going out to after parties afterwards. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you were in Europe? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. When was it? Uh, that was. It would have been. 98 or 99. It was whenever I remember the song that was popular at the time was the uh, Stardust song. The music sounds better with you. So whatever it was, just, we, I heard it everywhere on that trip. And but and I, you know, we were just like hitchhiking around and and a, we were in Belgium and it, we were actually in a train station trying to find some place to, to sleep and we we asked some guy if, and if he knew like where to sleep and he, he said just come sleep in my house and then he took me to my like first like all night party and at the time I was only like you know punk into like disco and funk mm -hmm. and so like to just dance all night to this electronic music was just it was incredible. Yeah because uh, this album is also partly recorded in uh, Berlin mm -hmm. um, if, if it w that, that part if it wouldn't be recorded in Berlin would it have it sound much different than it sounds now? Uh, yeah. Who can say? <laughs> what do you, you think? <laughs> um, I think I, I think it absolutely would, would be different, you know. I mean, maybe, but I mean, it, it, even I mean, it absolutely would be different, but only maybe by a little tiny bit, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it was definitely. It's like you know. It's like it's as far as like when you're trying to pick it apart and be like, well, is, is there something about the city, you know, the the wall and the and the war, you know. It did, that creep into the sound, I guess, you know, maybe. That's harder to like put your finger on. But one thing I do know for sure is that when you're playing music all day and you leave and go out to the club immediately afterwards and you're dancing incredibly loud music, like it makes you think about what you were doing that day. And when you go back in the next day, it makes you think, of, think about the night before, you know? And that has to creep in, you know? Okay. Well, what kind of, uh, when, how long did you stay in, in Berlin? Two months. Two months. Yeah. And Tyler lives there. Okay. So. Yeah, and uh, if you just are there and not playing music, how does uh, average day in Berlin look? I mean, uh, uh, I mean, we played music every day, so I, the days that we would have off, uh, I mean, I wake up very late and uh, I like a good kebab, uh, and uh, you know, I mean, we, on my on my days off, you know, we, we kind of just you know we would go to a club or something, you know. But that was better. I mean, we tried to play as much as we could while well, we, we only had two months, and we could play any, uh, t basically 24 hours a day. So we would play any time that that we could, kind of. But also, it's a band, and try to get everyone there. Someone's always like, "Oh, I gotta do this," or, you know. So there was a bit like, I'm not. We didn't work as hard as I would have liked. That's for sure. It wasn't like you know. We always kind of marveled at Can, like, "Well, oh, they used to jam 14 hours a day." Like you know, that seemed really insane to us. And, we still haven't jammed 14 hours a day, and we're still not as good as Ken, so maybe that's, that's, that's the reason. Yeah. And for you, what, 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 what's the most inspiring in a city like Berlin that you wanted to record there? Um, w wait, w w what do you mean? Which, which uh, it can be anything, the, 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 the art or music oh, um, or in what way? I mean, yeah. uh, really the most inspiring thing to me there is the clubs, you know, that's like because everything else is, is is things from the past, but the clubs is happening now. It's a, it's an incredible, incredible thing, you know. And um, I mean, it's art every single night, you know. And it's like it's such a 
it's just something to behold. I mean, even even the sound systems are, are inc incredible to us. They're 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 so much better than the American ones. They you come out after a full night and your ears don't hurt. You know, you've just listened to louder music than you've ever listened to, but your ears don't hurt. They're like they're just engineered so so well. It's incredible, you know. So yeah, I mean, absolutely, the clubs, the clubs is. You know, yeah. it's something really special. Yeah, and yeah, for you now, it's 12 years uh, ago since the first time in Europe. Uh, when you're here now, uh, does it feel still uh, as surprising when compared no, to No, but it still feels really fun. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of getting the hang of it. You know, I mean, I got into Amsterdam last night and was, uh, go by a spliff, no big deal. But the first time we came here, it was like, holy shit, man, it's fuck, you can buy the wheels. <laughs> you know, like, just like every other stupid American, you know? But so, you know, we're used to it, but not um, jaded. Mm.